This video illustrates the insertion of a supraclavicular brachial plexus catheter. Here we're using a catheter over a needle device. The aim is to pierce the brachial plexus seized just lateral to the superior trunk and make our way towards the corner pocket. Gentle probing needle motions will roll nerve bundles out of the way and liberal hydrodissection within the sheath will open up a safe plane for needle advancement between the superior and middle trunk. Again, we're aiming to reach the corner pocket between the artery and the first rib. During this process, I'm injecting active local anesthetic through the needle in the same way that I would do a single shot supraclavicular block. The aim is to get a working block. When advancing through the plexus, if it's unclear as to what lies in front of the needle, always scan off of the needle to bring those structures into better view. Needle tip position can then be advanced to negotiate around the structure. The final position of the needle tip is just under the artery, between the artery and the first rib. This is where the catheter tip will lie subsequently when the stylet is removed and switched out for the catheter. The final volumes of local anesthetic are injected here to achieve good spread around all elements of the plexus. Here, the introducer stylet has been exchanged for the catheter, which can be seen lying between the superior and middle trunks with the tip in the corner pocket area. A test injection through the catheter is performed, and this confirms good spread, lifting the artery up. And this local anesthetic will track back along the catheter and spread as well to the superior and middle trunks. This final bit just shows a post-block survey going up towards the roots, and all elements of the plexus are now clearly visible with local anesthetic spread around them. This confirms that the block will be successful and that subsequent infusion should also work well.